if elected, what, what, what committees would you like to serve on in the Senate? Well, given that we have so much emphasis here, you know, in our state on, on defense budgets, I would, I would very much like to serve in the Armed Forces, Armed Services, you know, committee. Also, help, you know, uh, health education, labor and pensions, because that's such a, a big part, you know, of what we're looking at today. Finance committees, I think that's kind of in my wheelhouse as well, so. Is that, have you changed your opinion on, on BRAC, like what you discussed at the, uh, at the, at the base last week? My, my opinion relative to the base has absolutely not changed. We will fight to keep that base open. But you still would like out. to see a BRAC process? No, no, no. That was a total misinterpretation. I will fight to keep that base open um, and to keep those jobs at electric vote here in our state. There is nothing I wouldn't do to prevent that you know, from happening. So you vote against BRAC? Well, I'm, as I said, I'm going to keep the base, I'm going to fight for the people of Connecticut to keep that base open. Well, right, but, 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 but Ms. McMahon, sorry, just, but would you vote to have BRAC start or not? I'm going to fight for the people at Electric Vote and for our base. Do you know we have 101,000 people? I was reading an article yesterday that uh, had 101,000 jobs uh, that are defense, direct, direct defense jobs in our state, and billions of dollars it contributes. I'm not going to let those go away. But so you, but... Just can you answer I yes answered or no? You. No, you didn't. Can you yes, answer, I did. Can you answer yes or no? Would Anyone you else? Uh, yes. You, you've talked in, in your commercials. Your centerpiece of your plan is the one percent cut a year in the federal budget. Mm -hmm. Have you identified areas where those cuts are going to come from? There have already been a steep spending cut over the past couple of years. Well, what I have said is that it's not necessarily one percent across the board, because each agency or department is going to have to look at. Like when I ran a company, you know, as a CEO, we would look at making cuts, and if I said ten percent for all departments. Some departments couldn't make 10. They'd make 8. But another department could make 12. So we're going to have to look at where the 1% comes from. But I've started by saying, look at the overlap that's happening, you know, right now in government. We have 47 different programs for job training. The GAO puts out that list, you know, annually where the duplicative programs are, how much they're costing. And $200 billion are being spent for overlapping programs. So 1% of this year's spending budget would be $38 billion. I believe we can find cuts on overlapping and fat without making draconian cuts. I want to jumpstart our economy. I want to put people back to work. And that's what my plan you know, will do.